Hey everybody, it's Under My Cap and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be showing you how to create your very own custom Minecraft skins. So they are super simple and easy to create. This video will work for both Java and Bedrock Edition. Unfortunately for Bedrock, if you are playing on Xbox, PS4, Switch or any other console, this won't work for you. So today I will be using Planet Minecraft Skin Creator. I love this skin creator so much and I'll leave the link in the description as well just so you don't accidentally use the wrong link. But for now, we're just going to open up in advanced mode and you'll notice it gives you this really cool 3D view of this just blank character. Now to create your custom skin, first of all, what I wanted to show you is that you have your color wheel or color triangle over here, which you can use to customize your own pixels. So you can actually select the color you want and then you can kind of change the uh, exact color it is. You can also use hex values as well if you know how to use that sort of coloring. Um, but you can see you get to select your color over here and you can paint away at your character as well. Now in the editor as well, you can also use the paint bucket so you can fill in whatever you like. You can see I've filled in the front. Now you can actually rotate as well to like with just clicking your mouse um, and you can color in other sections as well. And a really cool feature that you can do is that if you click on the little file icon up here and you hit get from MC username, you can actually take a skin that someone else has created and edit it yourself. So you could do this with your current skin. So for example, I'm going to use under my cap like this, and I'm going to hit get Minecraft skin. And you'll notice that my character, <laughs> Here he is, he pops up straight away and you can actually customize him however you like. So if you're a person that doesn't quite like editing in 3D, so like this, you can actually, if you go up to the very top right corner, click on hybrid mode and you can see this very cool uh, editing style. So you can see I can paint uh, different sections. So the stuff I'm painting right now is the hidden stuff. I'll show you how to do that later. But you can see I can paint uh, just little sections around. I can actually also draw with the pen tool. Um, just on little pixel mode. Uh, maybe I can change my eyes green. Oh, that's a bit creepy. Um, but you can see I can edit it like that. Now, also in Minecraft, you can customize a second layer of your character. So this second layer is accessible by choosing this little outline section over here. So if we disable... Now to enable the hidden armor type stuff, you can simply click on these little boxes here that are gray. So because I did the jacket just there over here, I'm going to select the jacket and you can see that it's put up this secondary layer to your character and I'll show you how to do this. So if I, let's say, enabled the helmet, I can add like a sweatband to my character. So you can see I'm adding like a little green uh, band around the head. And notice that if I do disable the armor part that my skin is still the same. So uh, that's like a really cool feature that you can use. I personally don't use that at all. I just like having a 2D skin so just simply doing this um, and yeah, it's super simple to use. Now, if you're editing in the 3D view, you can also model your character to help paint a few sections easier. So you can see if we click on this tiny little person up in the top corner, we actually gain access to a whole bunch of models. So you can see I can make my character sit on the grass. Uh, I can make my person stand in the air. Now, I really like this one because you can actually see under the arms to paint. Um, and also when you're in this mode as well, you can also change the position of characters. So I originally used to make a lot of my thumbnails using this editor here, trying to make poses. So I'd make my character hold like a little item in his hand rather than anything else. And you can see you can spin it all around. And the cool thing is you can just reset it by clicking on any of these little icons here. I'm gonna quickly go back to the paint mode by clicking this little paint button over here. And once you're finished with your skin, what you can do is you can actually export your skin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and I'm going to hit file and I'm going to hit save to file. Now, once you hit save to file, it will download in this little uh, thing at the top. So you can, I'm using Firefox. It might change on Chrome and stuff. It will just appear in your downloads folder. But what you want to do is you want to head over to your Minecraft. And what I'll do right now is I'll open my bedrock. So once you're in Minecraft Bedrock, I'll show you how to do Java after this. You want to head to Dressing Room. Then you want to create a new character. So I'll go across to this character here and I'll hit Edit Character. And then what you want to do, this is kind of quite simple. So you unfortunately can't add all of these special effects onto your character. Um, once you've imported your skin, you can only have your basic skin. But what you want to do is you want to hit on uh, this little, oops, sorry. You want to hit on this little green icon here 
and you want to simply click on this gray box. Now once you do this, a button will pop up saying choose your skin or choose new skin. And once you do this, you want to simply click on it. I'm going to go to my downloads and I am going to open my skin that I just created uh, just then. So <laughs> uh, yeah, my character is looking very funky because uh, of the second layer there. But you can see that we've imported my character into the skin creator and to save it, we just want to hit the back arrow. You see character has been saved and now we have our own custom skin in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Let's go do Java Edition now. You don't actually need to be inside the Java game. You just need to be inside the Minecraft launcher. And what we want to do is we want to first of all, click on Minecraft Java Edition in the corner, then click on skins, click on new skin. Then we want to hit browse, go to downloads again, take the skin that we just created, hit open. And you'll see we have our skin. So depending on the model you want, you can choose wide, which I currently just made, or you can choose slim. Uh, you do have to make your skin slightly different on the editor, uh, but I'm just gonna personally use wide because I like wide. Now, if you do have any special capes, you can select them here, uh, such as this one. If you migrated your account to Microsoft, you get this one, or if you were um, a customer of Minecraft when they combined Minecraft Bedrock and Java Edition, uh, for now, I'll just keep no cape. Well, actually, you know, we'll, we'll use migrator. So you can see I put a cape on the back of my player. And all you have to do is simply name it. So I'm going to do gibberish because I obviously do not want to play with this uh, character at all. And I'm going to hit save. And if you were playing with uh, normal or if you wanted to save it, you could hit save and use. Um, you can also hit the use button. So if I clicked use on my player skin, it would set it as uh, my current player skin and then all you have to do is simply just turn your minecraft off and on so uh if you're playing java you'd close java and you'd open it again and then you'd have your brand new custom skin i'm definitely gonna have to change my skin after this but if you did find the video useful please leave a like and subscribe it would be greatly appreciated and i can't wait to see you in the next video see ya uh, it would actually be funny if i left this on for a bit <laughs>